Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a toast inside our app. So what is a toast? A toast is basically a feedback message that, that is shown to the user screen based on an action. Uh, let me give you an example. Here I've built an app that basically gives you an overview idea of where or how you can use the toast. So inside the app, we have two edit text and a button. We have the name, password, and a submit button. So let's say I give a name of uh, Josh, for example, and then give in a password. I click submit. That's the, uh, the toast message. I click again. That's the toast message. Now, for example, if I leave uh, the password empty, I just fill in my name and the password is empty. I click submit. Then you get a different toast. All right, great. Now let's go back to Android Studio and build the app. So we create a new project, and then we give it a uh, toast example, and then we click on next, and then next, uh, empty activity, next, and then we click on finish. Okay, the build is finished, ready to build is complete. Here we have the main activity. Now, based on the the app, we have two edit text and a button. So let go. We go back to the activity underscore main, and then we remove the default value. We drag in, uh, drag, and let's say person's name. Okay, uh, we uh, we make the width to f fill the screen by clicking on this icon. That's good. Now we have the name. And then we'll go and drag in a password. That's the password. We'll do the same thing. Fill the width. And then we'll look for a button. There's a button. We drag it to the center there. That's good. Now we'll go back to the, uh, the XML section and then we'll edit the views. So the first edit text, basically a name. Uh, we don't need the Android this text will give it a hint. So what is a hint is basically uh, um, text that gives you an idea of what you should fill in inside that particular edit text. Let me show you when I build the app. Uh, we have the hint, we'll give it name. So uh, let me show you what hint is. We'll go back to the, the app. You can see here, you can see there's a password, right? You can see a password, but when I start typing, the text disappears. That basically, that's basically a hint, an indicator of what you should fill in inside the edit text. So that's what we're actually doing here. Android hint, giving it a name. So we'll extract the resource. I'm gonna click OK, and then we'll do the same thing. Now we need to change the ID. So for the first one will be name, edit text name, and then. Uh, we'll do the same thing for the password. So we'll give it a hint, Android hint, and then we say password, and then we extract the resource, string resource, click OK, and then we'll change this to password, edit text password. Okay, now for the button right, we need to change the text to submit and then we change the ID of button submit and then we extract the string resource extract string resource click OK OK everything looks good we go back to the design section alright so we have the name password and a submit button everything's good now we'll go back to the uh, main activity Java and then we uh, write the code for the buttons and the edit text. So we have the edit text. First thing is for the name and then edit text for the password and then a button. We call it submit button. Okay, so we have name equals to uh, edit text find view by id or id dot edit text name semicolon and password equals to 
edit text find view by id i dot id dot edit text password and then for the submit button submit equals to button find view by id r dot id dot button submit now we need to uh, handle the button click so we'll do it like this submit dot set on click listener new on click listener all right now inside this on click method right we'll we will do some logic here we need to check for two conditions first thing is first case is when the user have filled in the, uh, the name and password successfully we will show a toast message now if the user have forgot to fill either one of these for example if uh, he fill in the name but forgot to fill in the password then we will show a different toast message so let me show you how how, how are we going to how are we going to do that so we'll start with an if condition if we need to check if the name is not empty so we we'll do it like this name dot we get the text from the edit text and then we make it two string so it's readable and then we need to check if is empty okay and then we'll do this we'll do the same thing for the uh, the password so if name dot get text dot two string is not empty that's why i'm adding this explanation mark it's not empty and we'll do the same thing for the password if password dot get text dot to string dot is not empty then inside this condition we will write the toast message so how do we write the toast message you start with toast you see, yeah, toast which is you, you choose the first option android widget and then dot make text okay and then the first thing we need to pass in is the context which is main activity dot this and then the text that we need to show the text that we need to show to the user which is in our case uh, welcome to coding demos and then we need to give in a duration. So what is the duration? Duration is basically how long do you want to show the toast uh, in the user screen? So we have two options. It's either length long or short. Length long, I think it's for like a few seconds, I think three or four seconds, but length short is around one or two seconds. I'm not sure, ex I'm not exactly sure about the, uh, the the length but it's uh, it's around that range so we'll choose long for example and then we need to end it with show now you really really need to add in the show here otherwise if let's say for example we tend to forget to add the show then the toast will not show even though we've already written all this line, but we forgot that last piece, which is show, then the toast will not show. So please be alert to add in the show at the end. So this is for the first condition. Now we need to do it for the other condition. If let's say the the user have forgot to add in, uh, have uh, forgot to fill in either one of these. So we'll do it like this. We'll show a different toast. Toast dot make text, and then do the same thing. Main activity dot this as the current activity, and then for the message we would say, please don't leave any fields empty. And then for the toast, uh, for this time. Uh, for the length, sorry, and this time I'm going to uh, choose uh, length short just to show you how uh, how fast it is to disappear, uh, and then dot show. Okay, 
Another thing is, since this is a label, so we need to extract the string resource as well. So click on that, extract string resource, and then we give this a name. Uh, let's say success label. Then you click on OK. And then we do the same thing for the other condition, other toast, sorry. Extract string resource, and then we call this error label. Then you click OK. All right. Everything looks good. Now, let me go back to the emulator. Exit the app. Okay, let me delete this first. Because I'm using the same package, so I don't want to have any uh, conflict issues. Now let's run it again. Choose Nexus 5. And then we'll, we'll wait for it to deploy to the emulator. Okay. The app is finally in the emulator. Now we have the, the two edit text and the password. So we first do the... Do we first start with the main condition, which is filling both text field and then clicking on the submit? So we give it for the name Josh and then for the password, uh, just a simple one, two, three, and then we click on submit. And then we say welcome to coding demos. That's good. Now this in this toast we're using the longer duration period, which is length dot long. Now let me show you. The other condition, when we use length dot short for the uh, for the toast, let's say I forget to add in the password and then I click submit. Please don't leave. Yeah, see how it's a it's a bit faster. Uh, it's a bit shorter and faster than the previous toast. That's why we're using a length dot short here. So click back again. Please don't leave any fields empty. Yeah. So that's basically what a toast message looks like in the app. Th uh, thanks again for watching and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching and happy coding.